Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to uh, our medical vlog. Um, and I do want to thank a couple folks for the comments for our last WSB spoof. Um, the one that comment that said that I definitely had a face for the radio. I appreciate that. And one guy that told me that uh, hopefully things in medicine will improve because I won't make it in comedy. And I understand that. <clears throat> the talk today is about insurance. Uh, tough subject. Uh, it's very frustrating. It's that way by design. It's confusing. Uh, it, they change the, the terminology. They change the plans. They move things around. They're trying to keep you off balance, and that's by design because uh, if you figure out insurance and realize how much money you're wasting with insurance, game over for the insurance companies. These problems all started back in 1965 with Medicare, and we didn't realize it, but it basically made the prices uh, not evident. And so uh, tests were being ordered, procedures were being done, surgeries were being done, and nobody really pay, paid attention to what it cost. So as things were added, insurance companies responded by increasing their rates. And so we've come today to where uh, for 2017, an average four person family spent over $14,000 in their premiums. That doesn't include uh, the $8,000 deductible that they also had as an average. Uh, that's a 20% increase from the year before, and it's continued to increase. Uh, insurance was not designed to be used for every day for everything, and that's the concept that's got to change. You got, you got to have the mentality that you, your insurance is, is there for catastrophic reasons that should be for that, that operation, that cancer, that heart attack, whatever happens, it's spread out over years, not that year. Not, not, uh, it was, if you had to pay all of it in one year, it'd be, it'd be astronomical. So these office visits, these x-rays, these CTs, these MRIs, you want to pay cash for those things. And really a lot of surgeries you can pay cash for, and it's going to be cheaper if you go outside of your insurance. <clears throat> when, because costs have gotten so high, people have had to turn to lesser insurances, uh, and that's just made things worse. The cost isn't that much cheaper, but they really, really, really reduce your privileges. Uh, you don't get to pick your doctor. They have narrow, very narrow networks so that doctors uh, don't have much choice, and they, can tr they feel like they can control them. They control what medications you can get, and they uh, then have... Um, prior authorizations sent to us all the time. We're getting increasing number of prior authorizations we have to do to get medications for you. Your procedures costs go up, your co-pays go up. Um, these, these are the, the problems that these bad insurance have. And you may be stuck with your company, not have a choice to pick that. But I blame the HR people and the businesses. They need to open up and look at other, other options um, and not put the burden uh, on, on the employee and they can save both money. Uh, the thing that I'd like to see these companies or, or practice in general, and healthcare in general, is focus more on primary care. We are too ready to run off to the specialist. You go to the specialist, you're gonna get MRIs, you're gonna get surgery, you're gonna get things that may be unnecessary. With my emergency medicine background, I can do a lot of things in our office. We have x-ray, we have ultrasound. Uh, I can do a lot of procedures, injections, and joint injections, tendon injections. Uh, dermatology, uh, I do biopsies, excisions, uh, a lot of other things uh, in there that can save you a lot of money if you come to my office versus going to the specialist, unless you just like spending a lot of money. If I need to get you to a specialist, I can do that. Other issues about insurance that are, are uh, misconstrued is that I had a patient say to me, I need my insurance to be able to afford my medication. No. I mean, hospital, I mean, insurance companies don't donate that medicine. They're going to make charge you for it. But they're also adding a lot of premiums on top of that. You just don't realize it because you don't. it's all hidden in the premiums. I had a patient say, thank goodness I have insurance to cover my surgery I had. I said, you paid over $15,000 for that for in premiums to have that $3,000 surgery. Oh, it wasn't a $3,000 surgery. It was a $19,000 surgery. Monopoly money. That surgery only cost two to $3,000, and you end up paying a $1,000 copay of it. So the insurance paid $2,000, and you paid $13,000 to $14,000 in premiums just to get that. Stop and think about it. And be careful with the insurance brokers. They work for the insurance company, not for you. They get paid based on how high your premiums are. So what started all this? This is all about Humana. They draw, you know, basically, uh, last straw. Uh, last week they called and said that, oh, that patient that had pneumonia last year, 103 temperature, dehydrated, that I got IV antibiotics and IV fluids to, uh, that kept him out of the ER, kept him out of the hospital. Yeah, they paid us too much for that, and they're taking that money back. 
no, we're not playing that game anymore. We're done with Humana. They're not, he's not the only patient that, that they did that with. It's been others, but we're not, we're not doing that anymore. So as of, as of April 23rd, we are no longer on Humana. So what can you do now? Uh, first, complain to the insurance company and, and complain to your insurance broker because that's what they got you, that crappy insurance. Uh, health care is not health. Health insurance is not health care. It's just a form of payment, period. If you go to a restaurant or a store and they don't accept your credit card, you got an option. Get a different credit card or quit going to that restaurant or store. Costco did that. They stopped accepting American Express. I like Costco. I changed my form of payment. So that's what needs to happen in healthcare. You can't just go with your insurance because they're not going to take care of you. That's my job. Um, so the ideal scenario is you raise your deductible as high as you can afford, try not to even reach that deductible, and pay cash for everything under it. You'd be amazed at how much you could save by doing that. I've saved thousands by going from Blue Cross Blue Shield with $1,800 a month to MediShare, where I'm paying $360 a month. Um, I pay cash for any procedures I need. I've saved a lot of money, and that's what I recommend you do. I have a practice called Victory Direct Care that is a monthly payment. You pay me, and I take care of you. No middleman, no insurance guy telling me or you what to do. You contact me 24-7. I'm also a part of Hip Nation, which which is similar primary, uh, uh, direct primary care uh, setup. So either one of those are great options. You need to look into those because the current situation with insurance is getting it worse, not better. Thank you.